Again, we got Holy Shift in the building with his Lowrider ST, all done up with the Stage 2 117 3030 cam. He put the Sawiki 2 into 1 exhaust on it. Sure, you guys seen sounds really good, and the uh, cam sounds good too. Nice lope, nice chop on it. We got Mad Max here, 2022 Road Glide 107 Stage 2 with the um, SNS 475 cam, and obviously my beloved 2 into 1 Chromeworks. Outlaw exhaust sounds absolutely insane. So what we're going to do today is we're going to give it a little run. We're going to see how much faster Sandy's bike is. So we're going to go on a highway. We're going to take a nice ride. We're going to stop for coffee, go over the bikes when we stop. Uh, but on the ride there, I will actually want to see how much faster now because uh, the Lowrider ST is than my bike. Uh, before, I think I would still pull on him a little bit. Uh, 90 horsepower around stock, but now he's got, what do you got now? 100 how much horsepower 112 112 that's with uh, a basic map from power vision and uh, that's what uh, he's got going on now but that's a big jump uh, figure a little over 20 horsepower and about i don't know let's say 10 foot pounds of torque gain on his bike my bike is uh, i believe 116 horse 117 on the torque because it is a 107 hey but trust me she rips before before we get into this video guys i just want to tell you really quick the meet and greet for tomorrow this video is today i'm actually recording this video today the meet and greet for tomorrow as you guys could see the weather we have torrential rains coming in friday night all day saturday and like i think all day sunday so the meet and greet at bergen county harley davidson for tomorrow saturday is rescheduled until next Saturday, May 6th at 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. at Bergen County Harley-Davidson. I had to reschedule it, obviously, because of the weather. I want you guys to bring your bikes. I've talked to some viewers, and I want you guys to bring your bikes I want to be able to see your bikes. I want you guys to see my bikes. I don't want, I was thinking about, uh, should I reschedule? Should I not? If, uh, you know, I was thinking if I didn't reschedule and I brought my bike there and you guys drove there, then there's no conversation, right? Like the, the main reason why we're getting together is obviously so we can meet one another. I, I want to see your guys' bikes because I know a lot of you guys have purchased a lot of the stuff or, you know, you know, I gave you guys a lot of ideas for your builds, and um, that's that's why uh, I rescheduled. But it is rain or shine for next Saturday because I cannot keep rescheduling it. I don't have time in my schedule, nor does Bergen County Harley Davidson because they have a packed schedule for the rest um, of the summer. So rain or shine, May sixth, nine a.m. to three p.m. Please come by. Also, if you head on over to my website, www.cycle-fanatics.com, I am having a giveaway. I'm going to extend it until May 6th. We are giving away this uh, top and bottom Sedici luggage right there. We're giving away a holster, brand new holster, brand new knife from Holtzman. Um, we're giving away, I just added the uh, beautiful Hogwarts Chrome cargo rack and a Airmoto air pump and the star to show is right there from saddleman seat a free gift certificate for one seat of your choice from saddleman seats so all of that just head on over to the website purchase a hat comes with a keychain and five stickers and you will be entered to win that giveaway which i will be announcing the winner next saturday may 6th so enough chit chat let's get on to the road and see if mr sandy over there has the go juice to beat Mad Max. Go ahead. Let's let's hear let's hear your bike, buddy. Go ahead. Start your bike. Start your bike. <laughs> it's all right. Don't worry about it. Come on, come on. Chop, chop. Okay, okay, okay. It's got a nice. That cam's got a nice chop to it. Up, 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 up. All right, all right, all right. Give you guys a start up on Mad Max. <laughs> she sings on the highway, boys. Sandy's bike's a little warm. Mine's cold. All right, guys, let's go.
That thing's fast now, boy. <laughs> he caught right up to me. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, we'll, we'll give it a couple more goes, but definitely, definitely fast. I took off and he passed me up. <laughs> and obviously, I know the bike is over 200 pounds lighter. I know, we're just, I just want to see the difference. Because when his bike was stock, we ran it and I slowly, I slowly pull on him. But now, now, there's no chance. No chance anymore, Sandy's got the go juice. It's fast. It's fast. Yeah, you, you pulled right by me. Ready? Wow. Oh, yeah. That's fast. <laughs> oh yeah, you got to give credit where credit is due. <laughs> now Sandy's got a real bike. <laughs> and honestly, I think he could really probably squeeze a couple more uh, horsepower out of uh, a custom tune, a couple probably more foot pounds of torque. Not too much, but you know, probably some. But he's telling me, uh, we'll go over it when we stop for some Joe. We'll stop for a cup of coffee, we'll go over it and he'll talk about what his thoughts are on the bike and how he likes the power and stuff. But that cam that he has, the 3030, has uh, a little higher lift, which is a, a 485 lift compared to the 475 lift on the SNS 475. But they actually put out a uh, very similar horsepower and torque numbers. black gauges I'm really happy that I swapped over I think it just blends in with the uh, the fairing inside the white gauges were kind of standing out too much it looks really good with the black gauges also like I was telling you with the Sun I just couldn't see them so super happy with that decision bike to ride as well you could do some touring definitely on that bike Sandy's got a, a really cool tour pack setup where he moved the tour pack a little bit more forward um, the bike is definitely more nimble because it's over 200 pounds lighter and as you guys see the bike moves that's all you need that's all I would ever ever do um, or is ever needed on a lowrider ST is a nice simple stage two, uh, good cam and an exhaust. That's it. You need the the big board kits and the big displacement and power on these baggers. You know if you really want to feel some good speed uh, because of the weight. It just needs you need that horsepower and torque to move a heavy bike. Well, he seems uh, to be really happy uh, with the decisions and choices he made. Uh, I was, I was a little, I was pushing him a little bit to do the 30-30 because you know why? Uh, I know it's a good cam, 
but I've had the 475 cam on multiple bikes and uh, a lot of us have been using the 475 but not so much the 3030 the star 3030 so I'm really glad he uh, went with that cam just saw a little different oh and he did uh, replace the valve springs because of the higher lift before when we ran it a couple times right it would be like neck and neck and then maybe slowly slowly I'd be pulling on them you know in the higher RPMs but now there's there's no comparison it's plain as day even if I started earlier he would still blow by me but I'm telling you to be perfectly honest with you to have fun on the bike even with the 107 I'm telling you, it's all you need. Stage two, definitely a stage two. Cam, Chromeworks exhaust. It's a lot of fun. get our fun in now before we grab coffee so this way when we stop we could I want to let you guys hear his thoughts and his impressions on the motorcycle oh wow that thing pulls fast That thing pulls fast. I actually started, I cracked the throttle before him. That thing creeps up real quick. Faster. That's stage two on his bike. Just wow, what a difference. Night and day. Night and day. Huge difference. It's really interesting, you know, to see something that has. Uh, I would say he's got actually the, I think we got the same horsepower, but there's so much more torque on the bike because of the 117 and The weight difference. It's huge makes a makes a real big difference There's a bunch of other things that you could potentially do, like uh, intake manifold. I really wouldn't recommend a higher lift than a 485, then you're starting to look for trouble, especially if you don't plan on changing the valve springs. You definitely have to change the valve springs. Anything over um, what I see, I would recommend a 485 lift. But that's pretty much the horsepower range. That's what you're going to get um, out of a 107, just stage two, 116 to anywhere 118 horsepower. But I think Sandy's bike still has a lot of more room for potential uh, with the 117 and the 3030 because I know big guys got the 475 with the 117 and uh, I think I think he's got, uh, he sent me the dyno, he's got about 128 horsepower with 132 foot-pounds of torque. But again, he's got a different pipe. So, you know, that, is, that, that does make a big difference um, as far as what pipe you have on the bike. All right, we're going 
gonna get off this exit. Hey, grab a cup of Joe. That thing boogies, bro. Huh? It boogies. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. What a big difference. Yeah, big difference. So me and Mr. Holy Shift just had a cup of Joe and he's tearing into me now how much faster his bike is than mine. Well, listen, it's what? A little over 200 pounds heavier, but she does move. Yeah. She does move. So listen, every, I'm sure everybody wants to hear. What What are your first impressions? You you like it? You happy with it? I love it? it. I'm very happy with it. It's first of all, uh, the camp, you know, in idle. Right. It gives that beautiful, typical Harley twin cam sound or the stage two sound that blah 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 but besides that it really performs well you feel the power you feel the torque it pulls it pulls all the way up to the red line I and mean, you've seen it right yeah yeah you've seen it just oh. now I, you were shifting you came fat you came you dropped uh, and shifted faster than i did i don't know why you didn't pull it all the because way because i shift fast my man but <laughs> It's like, oh, I shift like an automatic. <laughs> no, but it, it doesn't matter. The power, you could see yeah. the power on the bike. I had power all the way till I shifted. You know, I, there was no dip. There was no dip. Well, I don't have a dip. That's no, not the. That's, you did. That's I'm not, not the point. The you. point is you got, you got more power. The yeah, bike's lighter, so it like it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to pull. It's going to pull a lot harder, obviously. Yeah, and it was like it's so. So you're happy with the 30 happy. 30? It's, it's loud, yeah. and it's actually yeah, a little it's too bit loud, too right? loud for me. Maybe. But uh, I definitely yeah. have to use ear earplugs. For a long trip, you would definitely have oh, to. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Because the, it's very loud. Be, yeah, and not only that, it's here. It's it ends, all the way it back. It ends here and not right. obviously right. there. So that but makes a big difference. The pipes. And that, remember the when pipe, we looked inside? The, the pipes that end there yeah. are unbearable for a remember, long trip. John, remember when we were looking inside? Mm -hmm. uh, and it was like there's nothing there. It's just like one, one pipe. Yeah. All the way through, like nothing. Well, no that's baffle. that's how all of them are. I mean, without yeah. a baffle, but yeah. the, the the main thing is it ends it really here, is. Yeah. and if it was further, it would be different. But either way, it's I'm sure it's loud. And, and look at it starting to starting to get the nice nice uh, bronze color, like my wheels. Yeah, like matches my ribs. the wheels. It looks good. That's right. And so you wouldn't uh, you wouldn't change anything. You don't regret anything. Oh, nothing, no, right? No. 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 Good choice in cam. I think so. It was yeah. worth waiting. I, I remember, guys. I actually rem waited for about a year. I didn't want to dump my warranty initially. Yeah, right, I wanted right, right. to see that everything is nicely uh, put together. And after a year of having it, I think it's time. It was time for the. So, so me personally was seeing what uh, how Sandy's bike sounds and performs. I would say definitely for the 107, 114, and 117. Definitely the SNS 475. I'll have to add definitely the Star 3030 um, cam to it. Definitely has a nice slope on idle, um, as you guys heard in the beginning. But uh, cool. Be happy. It's all that matters, yeah. my man. And she's performing good. You got the love jugs on there as well. Yeah, it's like a little turbo. Yeah. yeah. And listen, a stage two, 117. Are you kidding me on a low rider ST? It's going to move. It's going to move out like really, really well. And uh, me personally, that's all you need. That's all you need for a low rider SP. No need for a big board kid. Stage two, that's all I would do. That kind of rhymed. <laughs> <laughs> all right, brother. Thanks for coming Thanks. out. Check out Holy Shift channel on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. Uh, if you guys like 
and follow Lowrider ST Models. Check out Sandy's channel. And uh, that's it for me. We're going to head home because literally it's going to be raining like any minute now. And we're going to be stuck inside the house for the entire weekend. Thanks for watching, guys. Love you guys. We're almost at 100K. 100,000 subscribers. So push it, push it, guys. Love every single one of you guys. And peace out. We'll see you guys on the next one.